Jim, welcome to our service tonight. It is great to see you. Welcome. It looks like we're out of chairs here in the room. So if we need some more chairs, we'll have our volunteers hustle in the back and put out some new chairs for you tonight. If you're watching online, welcome to JHM Live as well. Are you guys excited to be here tonight? That sounds great. I will fight you right now, Mr. McGill. I will. Uh, just kidding. I won't fight you until after the service is over. So glad that you're here. This is sixth grade welcome weekend. How many of you are in eighth grade? You're in eighth grade. Oh, look at those mature, mature kids. How many are in seventh grade? Make Oh, yeah. See, those seventh graders, they're proud. Sixth graders, let me hear you make a little bit of noise. Yeah! Okay. All right. Some of you are like, I don't even want to be associated with that kid in the front row. I get it. Welcome to JHM. I'm so glad you're here. If you're watching in the chat tonight, watching online, tell us your grade in the chat as well. Meet those other folks that are watching online. And we are so glad that you're here. My name is Josh. I'm the junior high pastor. I want to point out a couple of other people that are hanging out with us tonight. My friend, Jackson. This is Jackson, our worship leader. Everybody say hi, Jackson. Hi, everybody. That was kind of weak. That was, that was beautiful. They're so intimidated by this much beauty oh, no. and majesty. The Here's Maybe. the thing. When God created me, he just created me a little more beautiful than everyone else in the I think, world. I think that's true. Do you agree? How, yeah, how dare right. you? How dare you? Jackson, you're pretty good looking too. Uh, welcome to church, guys. We're so glad you're here. My friend Tammy is the junior high director. You're going to meet her in a little bit. She's terrific. Our youth pastor, Doug Fields, is here. Everybody say hi, Doug. Hi. Doug is right there. Thank you for handing out programs and pens tonight. We're glad you're here. We're starting with some games. We're going to have some music. We've got some big giveaways, and I get to challenge you on where JHM is headed this year. So glad you're here. Welcome, everybody. Let's sing. Here we go. Everybody, go ahead and stand up. Again, my name's Jackson. These are my friends, Bennett and Sam. Here we go. Lord, I pray it's worship, empty words I can't afford. Come on, everybody, put your hands together. Let's clap. I'm not chasing feelings. Here we go. That's not why I'm singing. You're the reason for my song. Every hand together. Guys, 
sounds so good. We still got one more song tonight. This is going to be a new one if you've come to JHM before, but either way, let's all put our hands together. Let's sing When I Was Searching. When I was searching, your love was never far. You made a way to get to me with a whisper, leading me to your heart. Forever I belong to you And now I can see clearly My God, you are for me You won't let go Your love won't let me down Yeah, I know it's true Yeah, I know that your love is all around Come on, everyone I believe in you Lord, and not to you Put them together right now. You guys sound so good. You guys can go ahead and take a seat. Check out the screens. We're going to watch a video here. What's up, everybody? Welcome to JHM. So glad you're here. We are standing in the dark. In the dark. That's right. We're going to work on getting some lights. There we go. That's yeah. much better. My name is Josh. This is my friend Tammy. Everybody say hi, Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Wave hi, at Tammy. JHM. Everybody wave at Tammy. Hi, hi Tammy. Guys. Hi, guys. I'm the junior high pastor. Tammy is the junior high director, and you are in the junior high ministry at Mariners Church. Welcome aboard. Welcome, welcome. What an exciting service we have for you. Eighth graders, we love you a lot. Seventh graders, we love you quite a bit. Sixth graders, we, we love, love you the most. You the most. <laughs> we do. We love you the most. That's all there is to it. 
This weekend in JHM, you all are going to be learning about the traditions of our junior high ministry. So whether you're here for the first time, and if you're in sixth grade, you are here for the first time, or you're in seventh grade, you come here a few times, or in eighth grade, you come here all the time, you're like, oh, I know the traditions. Well, all of you will know the traditions. Here's some of the things that we're into. Tammy. Llamas. Llamas. Why are we into llamas? Because they spit. They're, yeah, they so spit on people. Like many of the eighth graders yeah, yeah, yeah. that are here, they spit on people. Eighth graders, be nice this weekend. Please. Don't spit on the sixth What graders. else are we into, Tammy? We are into free t-shirts. Free t-shirts. And this weekend, everyone here gets, oh, you're modeling this I shirt know. right now. J-H-N. Our junior high ministry shirt. It's a beautiful shirt. How many of you already have that shirt? Uh, you already, well done. Well, some of you are Ooh, wearing it. I don't even okay. know how. How are you able to put that on we so quickly? We need to quickly? make sure you get a t-shirt. If when you're you here leave. this weekend we, and you're in person, sorry live, if you're watching online, I got nothing for you. That's a sad moment. Rip, rip the live show. Wow. Come next week. We'll make sure you get one. As long as supplies last, you get a free t-shirt this weekend, whether you're in sixth grade, seventh grade, or eighth grade, or if you're in ninth grade and you somehow snuck in. Uh, we'll you give you a t-shirt. Still get a t-shirt. You're in. We love you. You can hang around a little while. We also have other traditions like uh, my love of Star Wars. This is a mm, Star. Any other Star true. Wars fans? Yes, I see those hands. We you do are love Star Wars. wise people. So love Star Wars. Baby fans. Yoda. Baby Yoda, so adorable. Someone last service the program that you got when you came in. He had folded it up into an origami baby Yoda. What? I was so proud of him, and then I was disappointed because he took my sermon notes and like crink, but yeah. it was still really great. And we're also into beans. That's right. And tonight we're playing a fun game called Head, Shoulders, Knees, Beans. beans. That's right. <laughs> Where everyone in here, you are going to play against someone else in a simple game. Head, shoulders, knees, cup, and if we don't have all enough cups, we will play with, with a can beans. of beans. Now, Tammy is going. Tammy is going to demonstrate this incredible game by against my friend Mandy. Mandy's going to come up to the stage. Mandy and Tammy are going to go head to head in a game of head, shoulders, knees, cup. Let's in fact. Let's move away from the screen so everyone online can see this as well. This is a can of beans. There can only be one champion. The game is played like this. Shake hands, spread COVID, here we go. Head, shoulders, head, knees, head, shoulders, cup. Well done, Tammy wins. In this, in this example round, Mandy would be ruthlessly eliminated and Tammy would find another contestant until there remains just one With and one can. winner alone. Out of this giant crowd, Only one person. Only one. Only one man or one woman or one person or one sixth grader, whatever you are, will win in the game of head, shoulders, knees, cup. What I want you to do right now is turn to the person on your left and say, you're going down. Turn to the person on your right and say, I'm going to destroy your soul. Say it. Say it. Say it right now. It just got a little dark That was pretty ruthless. A little dark. Uh, What I need you to do right now is pair up with someone near you. Pair up with someone and we're distributing Find cups. A we're cups distributing are going cups around. into the audience for the game Head, Shoulders, beans Knees, are going around too. and Cup. There are, there are some beans as well. If you're watching online, you get to just, the camera's just going to pan over and show you the game in action because it's hard to play this game when you're on your laptop or your iPad, but you can still enjoy the show. Find right, a we're, parent around. We're head Find to a head. sibling. We're head to head right here. Are you guys head to head? Where's your partner? partner? You need a partner right here. Right here. Grab a partner. Right there. She needs a partner. Head to head. All right, here we go. Stand up, everybody on your feet. Uh, Only right. one I need, person I, one more person over remains. Here. Anybody looking? Come this if way. If you're missing a way. partner, raise your hand raise or your volunteers hands. will pair you up. We need a partner over here. Partner up, partner up. Raise your hand quickly. Find a partner. Meet got somebody a lot new. Of students. Uh, I want you to int- introduce yourself to your opposing partner. You may now you may now shake hands or fist pump or elbow pump or you may bow uh, gracefully or curtsy. We will also accept a curtsy if you would like to curtsy to your opponent. Well done. All right, here we go. Everyone get ready. Here it goes. Whoever ends up with the cup or the beans will move on to round number two. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, shoulders, head. Shoulders, knees, 
cup. And there it is. Ew. That's it. Half of you are out. Ruthless. You're out. Ruthless. Ew, well done. You're out. Get Shake out. Shake hands with your partner. Find a new partner. Be cordial. Find a new uh, partner. If you were ruthlessly eliminated, we have nothing for you. You're just done. It's over. Sit down. You're not a loser, but you're out. All right, new partner. Ruthless. Find a new, hey, you need a new partner? This kid needs a new partner. We need, who's, who's still in? Here we go, right here, right here. Hey, you guys used to be friends, and now you're mortal enemies. Do you understand? All right, a courtesy, curtsy, or elbow bump would be appropriate right now. Maybe you would like to, you know what this round's gonna be? This is gonna be called the about face round. Huh. You must turn around and face the opposite direction. Oh. For round wow. number two. This could get dangerous. All right. Some Tammy heads could hit. Tammy's calling this round. Here okay, we go. Okay, and a hit. Knees, shoulders, head, 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 shoulders, knees, knees, head, cup. Cup, oh! cup, cup, she called it. <laughs> there can only dangerous. be one. If you have the cup, you're still in. You are still in. Man. All right. If you are still in, you have a cup in your hands. Find a new partner. We are getting down quickly. It's getting serious. This is getting serious. Right here, Micah needs a partner. All right, we need a partner again. up here. Right here. Come here, come here, come here. Here you go. Right here. There's your partner. Are you good? All right. Is everyone matched up? You're matched up there. You're matched up. We, we need one more. We need one more. Who's? We're matched up everywhere. Okay. You know what? Why don't you take her on right there? One of our volunteers is going to go head to head with you. Here we go. I'm calling this round. Ready? Here we go. Cup! Ah! Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow! Instant, instant wow. cup right there. You know what that Vicious. means? You know what that means? You know what? You're out. That's what that means. You, are you wow. still in? Come on up here. You're good. Who else is still in? Come on up to the front. In These fact, are the real deals. In fact, come on stage. Come on stage, ladies. Step on stage, gentlemen. Here we go. We're gonna go head to head to head to head to head to head. In a game of head, shoulders, knees, and cup. We got four pairs. Right, four you pairs. Have, are you guys together? All right, pair, you're together. Pair. You have a partner. You guys got a cup. Okay, here we go. All right, one cup. You're good. You're good right there. Just pick a cup. All right, Tammy's calling out this round. All right. Our final four contestants. Here we go. Head, shoulders, shoulders, head, knees, shoulders, head, shoulders, knees, cup. Wow, wow. so fast. You broke the cup, you know what happens? We throw it away, no big deal. We will recycle that later. You're going head to head and you're going head to head, but wait, there's a twist. That's right. We're going with a four-way finale. A four-way? A four-way. And there's gonna Step be- Step over here, stand right here, stay right there. Stay right, we, stand right here. And we got beans instead. Step right here. And I want you to stand right here, sir. Stand right here. And so everyone, Natalie, step over here so everyone has a great view. Now, oh, man. only one winner remains. When, when oh, heads no, collide. Axel, you're blocking everybody's view. Step over here. We got The crowd's got to see. The crowd's got to see. You got to let them see the show. Oh, my. Now, before we go into this final round of head, shoulders, knees, and that other item, Tammy, what does our one winner win tonight at Sixth Grade Welcome Weekend? At the end of our service, okay. you will come back up for oh a my. chance to play the wheel. Of Destiny. Oh my goodness. The Wheel of Destiny has a bunch of different prizes. We will be rolling out the prize table in a little bit. There can only be one winner. Instant prize. And it's going to be one of these contestants. Sir, tell us your name. Axel. Hi, Axel. It's great to meet you. Axel is an Ma'am, tell us your name. Hi. Great to meet you. Colton from my life group, what's your name? Colton. Hi, Colton. Nice to meet you. And finally, another sixth grader. Tell us your name. Natalie, how confident do you feel that you can take on these 6th, 7th, and 8th graders tonight and destroy them and uh, absolutely wipe them from the face of the earth? How confident do you feel? Not very confident. 10. I agree. Here we go. Here we go. You know what? For this round, I need absolute silence. Please silence the music. Please silence the crowd. There could be no sound whatsoever. I just feel like praying. With the exception of this game. Here we go. Head. Shoulders, knees, shoulders, head, shoulders, knees, knees, cup. <gasps> and there's one winner, it's Whoa, Natalie. 
I got nothing for you, sir. Have a seat. I got nothing for you. I got nothing for you. And yeah. you, Natalie, congratulations. You instantly win. Oh, don't hand this back. This is yours to keep, Natalie. How thankful are you to have a new can of pork and beans? Very grateful. Very, Very grateful. Thankful. Natalie, well done. You'll also come up at the end of the service, and you're going to win big tonight as well. We have other traditions in JHM. Yes, in addition we do. to head, shoulders, knees, cup, and beans, we also have a tradition that we like to call the impossible that's shot. That's correct. The impossible shot. And it, tonight, if you hit the impossible shot, Tammy, what do they win? Well, let me walk over to Oh, them. my. Oh. It's a little heavy. Oh. It's not a Razor scooter. What? It's even better. We're giving away a Segway 9-bot scooter? A 9-bot. Retail value, $3 million. $3 million. If you were to buy this $700 scooter on eBay for $3 million, it would retail for over $3 no million. Dollars. And we will give it out at JHM? We are. Uh, Maybe tonight. If you make the impossible shot. Tell us how the impossible shot works, Tammy. So the way the impossible shot works is if everyone can turn around, there's a target hung up by your friends Spencer and Henry today. And if you just so happen to make the impossible shot, it's not about just hitting it. It's about making it through the impossible shot. And the that only way that, that you get to play is if you are here for the very first time. You invited a friend, or if you're one of our new sixth graders. Wait a minute. So if you're in eighth grade and you're here for the first time, you get to go yeah. and play. If you're in seventh grade and you're here for the first time, you get to come up and play. You get to come and play. And all and sixth all graders, of our sixth you get graders. to come on stage if you're in sixth grade right now. Make your way to the front. Here we go. All sixth graders. All sixth graders, you get to shoot. Too many of them. This is going to be oh, awesome. Man. Sixth graders, Josh. make a line right here. Make a line. Huh. Make a line. Step over here. Come over here. I, All sixth I'm graders, come on in. Oh. Make a line over here. Make a line. You got this. I believe there's in you. There's no room. This just, is unbelievable. There, there's literally this no room. This is going to be the most epic night of impossible shot we've wow. ever seen. I'm, here we go. Are you ready, Tammy? I, We're going yep. rapid fire. Rapid fire. As fast as we can. Tell us your name and go take your shot. My name's Jonathan, and I'm in sixth grade. Nice to meet you. Go take a shot. Here we go. All right. Tell us your name while he takes a shot. Everyone watch to see if he can. Oh, no. Good try. Good try. That was excellent effort. Here we go. Tell. Oh, Natalie, you're our champion. We already know you. Get over there. Take the impossible shot. She's going to teach you how. Tammy, help him out. Help him out. Here we go. All right, really quick. While Natalie's getting ready, tell us your name. Tessa. What's happening? How are you, Tessa? Nice to meet you. Are you in sixth grade? Welcome to JHM. Unbelievable. Well done. You get to take a shot right after Natalie goes. Here we go. And no, very close. Sorry, sir. We will replace that eye later. Well done. All right, here we go. Next contestant, Tessa's up. Here we go. There are so many sixth graders in this service. This is unbelievable. You got this. I believe in you. Oh, so close. Here we go. Tell us your name. Wait, say that again. That is a beautiful name, Emerson. Come on up. You're up next. Noah, on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you to be here tonight? Three. A 10? That's what I heard. Noah, you're at church, and you said three? How dare you? Go take your impossible shot. Come on over. 300. Good answer. All right, really quick. Welcome to JHM. My name is Josh. What's your name? Holland. Holland, how excited are you to be here on a scale of 1 to 300? 400. Well done. Oh, nice try. Unfortunately, not good enough. You know what we're going to do? There's so many sixth graders tonight. We are going to let those that are on stage shoot. And if you're on, if you're off stage, you can shoot when the service is over, okay? So all of you can still shoot, but we're going to have you shoot after the service is over for fun, all right? Just because we have too many people. This is awesome. So good. Up next, take, jump right in. All right, Brent, what's your name? Oh, hi, Brent. That was awkward. I'm glad you're here. Are you glad to be here? Good answer. Excellent. All right, Brent's up next. Hop right in. Step right up, young lady. Tell us your name. Riley. Hi, Riley. How are you? Good. It sounds like you have strong people skills. Do you have strong people skills? Whatever you want to think. You definitely have a little bit of sass. I like it. Good luck with the impossible shot. Step right up. Tell us your name. Well, hello. It's nice to meet you. Uh, how are you feeling today? Good. Are you excited to be in JHM? Scale of 1 to 10. 
12, good answer. Step right up, this is your shot, this is your moment. We only have two more people left, this is incredible. If you are in sixth grade and you didn't get to shoot, we will let you shoot at the end of the service. Oh, good try. Step right up, young lady. Take your shot. Jackson, you look like a man who's ready to win this scooter tonight. How do you feel, Jackson? You spell your name with an X, J-A-X-O-N? Your parents are cool, man. Step up right here. We have a lot of people that have yet to go. We will let you shoot for your chance to win the nine bot at the end. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, excellent. Excellent shot, but I got nothing for you. Josh, that was chaos. That was unbelievable. I'm exhausted. We have about 25 wow. more students that will shoot at the end of the service. Whew. Too many for the live stream. So if you're watching the live stream, you're welcome. Uh, the Impossible Shot happens every the weekend impossible shot. here in JHM. One of our other traditions is called Summer Camp. Summer Camp. You don't want to miss Summer Camp. It's the best week of the year. Big games, crazy food, crazy fun. All of your friends are going to be there. Over 200 junior high students have already signed up to go. We want to show you what it looks like. Here is what our Summer Camp looks like in August. Check this out. Josh, and this isn't Tammy. I'm not Tammy. Wh what's your name? My name is Miss Mandy, and I oversee social media, tech, all that fun stuff. I'm usually in the tech booth. Tech booth. Woo! Tech Anyone? Booth. Yeah. Woo! All right, super fun. So my name is Miss Mandy, and who are you, sir? And I'm uh, I'm Ryan. I'm not on staff, but I'm on stage, and I volunteer a lot, and I love being here. My wife is Bella. She leads the worship team. Yeah, Bella, Bella. give us a little wave. With Woo. the worship. So, so yeah, fun. we're we're up here now. We kicked them off. We're like, eh, you guys suck. We're on stage, and we're gonna play oh. another game. We are gonna another play another game because game. we like games just as much as we like Jesus. And this game Ooh. is called What, what is, is it? it or Who is, is it? it? Ooh. Okay. I All right. So the name of the game. The name of the game is there's gonna be one person on stage, and they are not gonna see what's on the screen. They are not gonna see what's on the screen. They are gonna have to guess what it is or who it is and they only have 30 seconds and you guys are going to help them right you guys are going to help them you're going to give them clues but you're not going to say the name of what it is or who it is and if you get it wrong you sit down if you get it right you stay on stage we're playing seven rounds Beautiful. the last person on stage is going to win a prize it's that simple and ryan what are we playing for we're playing for a chance at the wheel of destiny where you are guaranteed to go home with something epic an amazing prize it's going to be sweet it's going to be fun and we are here for it. And guess what? Beautiful. If you're playing online, you guys can guess too. You're going to have 30 seconds to put it in the chat. We're going to have a special round just for you. And we're going to announce a prize for you guys as well. Fantastic. So we need, we need one brave volunteer All who wants right, to go first. We need someone who isn't jumping up and down. Probably somebody who's Beautiful. not jumping up and down. Ryan, Randy, do you want to pick? Well, do you oh, want me to pick? This is, I was ladies first. Oh, you me can pick. pick. Me pick. Oh, I, okay, sure, great. You can come here too. Next great. time. Don't worry. Next awesome. time. Awesome. Come here, All my right. friend. You're going to stand over here next you to Mr. Ryan right so you don't here. cheat and see the screen. Beautiful. All right. Ryan, Brent, who do we what's have? What's your name? Brent. Brent's name is Brent. And what grade are you in? Six. Sixth grade, Brent. Can we give it up for a sixth grade, Brent? Woo! A little round of applause. All right. You think you know how to play the game? You're going to have 30 seconds to guess. They're all going to be helping you, okay? All right, They're going to be giving you clues. We're going to help give Brent some clues. What's going on? You guys are going to shout. Be very excited because we want him to win, right? We want to get some awesome prizes. You so only have 30 seconds, 30 though. seconds on the clock. Let's try it. Here we go, everyone. In three, three, two. two. Here we go. Okay, Brent, I'm going to put the mic in front of your mouth. All right, guys, here we go. give us some clues. Give us some clues. Rabbit. We're barking. What else? What else? Uh, kangaroo. 
She owns one. Okay, she more owns details. One. Come on. What might you have? Is it not a hamster? It's barking. Yes. What might it be? It, okay. Fluffy what kind of dog? And curly and barking and. You know you can do this. Three, two, two one. one. It is not just a brown dog. It is a golden, golden doodle. doodle. You know what, Brent? I liked the effort, but not good enough. Take a seat, and we're uh, gonna pick let's somebody give Brent else. Let's a round of applause for trying. Uh, guys, I need you to help. Like, come up come here. On, give me yeah. the answer. Mac like, was giving clues. I'm you guys old. are all sitting there okay, like, like, it's I a golden doodle. I can't hear you, so you need to come up here and help us play the game. So, who would like to go up? Who's okay? I picked on you originally, so you come on up here, lady. Let's give all a round of right. applause. Amazing. Come on go to Mr. Ryan. Evie, why don't you tell everybody your name? Evie. Evie's name is Evie. And what grade are you in, Evie? Sixth. Evie is in sixth grade. Can we get up for Evie? Sixth Round of applause. Grade. Yeah. Fantastic. All right, Evie. You think you know how to play the game? You have 30 seconds to guess. I'm going to help you out. Okay, ready? All, All right, right, guys. Let's help everyone. Here we go. Three, two, two one. one. You can't look at the screens. You're only going to look at the guesses. All, All right. right. Okay, a it's a bridge. Is it the a Golden bridge? Gate Bridge? It is it's the, the Golden, Golden Gate, Gate bridge. bridge. Wow. wow, that was quick. How'd Good you know? How did you know? She's been to the Golden you Gate Bridge? What? what? Okay, Evie, you're staying on stage. You got it correct. You're going to stay up here. Um, we're going to play another let's round. Let's see our next one. All here right, we Evie, we're next. guessing together. You can't look at the screen, though, okay? Promise All me you'll right, look at the our screen. Next one. Okay. All right, nope. they're circling. They said it's a. No, not a merry-go-round. It's like a plane. It it's flies. It's like a plane and it flies. No, nope, not a bird. Circling. It's not a bird. It's not a plane. It has a spinny thing on the top. Helicopter. Helicopter. Oh, with five seconds to spare, it's a helicopter. Evie, you're staying up here again. Wow, fantastic. You guys are a great audience. Thank, Thank you, so you for your much. participation, audience. All right. Okay, you're you're doing pretty good at this. You got two in a row. I mean, Are you're you doing ready? pretty great. You're doing pretty fantastic. It's you're your first time here. So awesome. Pretty fantastic so for a first timer. All right, let's look at our next one. All right, three, two, one. All okay. right. No, nope, not slime. I'm seeing. No, nope, not silly putty. Okay, it's a it's musical an instrument. instrument. And it is an accordion. An accordion? That's yeah, correct. have you okay. Pause. Whoa. Have you ever played the accordion? No. She has never played the accordion. She has never has played. anybody ever played an accordion? Wow, yeah, we got a few like one person in the audience. Wow, that's fantastic. Evie, you are staying up here. This is our final round, final and this is our rounds. online round as well. So if you got those fast fingers and you think you know what it is type it in the chat the first person to get it correct and guess we do check we'll send the you first a person to get it correct we're gonna send you a gift card send because gift we card. love that That's you're watching amazing. church from Beautiful. home online maybe in the car maybe at a gas station i don't know where you are but thank you for tuning in <laughs> all right last round evie if you get it right you win a prize if you get here it wrong go. here we go Three, you go home two, one. is it a, a ball and Dad, i don't know what they're doing a baby I come have closer, no idea. I can't hear answer. anything. Come closer, come closer. What is it? What is it? Mom and dad. <laughs> mom and dad. Mom and dad. What are your mom and dad called? Parents. Parents. Oh, we got a winner. Fantastic. There was so much screaming. I had no idea what was going on. Evie, congratulations. You're coming up at the end to spin the wheel of destiny uh, at your first time at Woo. JHM. You can go Let's ahead and go take a seat. Evie. Wow. Yes, congratulations. Wow. Wow. So much Woo. noise. I couldn't hear what anybody was saying. They were all screaming at me. I'm I was so afraid. Sweaty. That game was a lot. It was I need a lot to of go fun. like cool off. I need somebody Woo. to pour a big thing of Gatorade over me. That was Woo. epic. That was a lot. Well, congratulations, Woo. guys. We love games, but just as much as we love games, we love, love Jesus. Jesus. Mandy, what's happening next? All right, guys. We're so glad you're here. And like Ryan said, we love to have so much fun. But the whole 
reason we're here is to learn about this little guy we like to call God. Super cool, super, super fun. Cool. So whether it's your first time or your 500th time here, we're so excited because our junior high pastor, Josh, is going to come up on stage. But before we do, we have a little video. We got a fun video. So it's, it's a pretty cool video. So turn your eyes to a screen. Beautiful. Check it out. some good stuff right there. Well, welcome everybody to JHM. My name is Josh. I am the junior high pastor, and it's great to see you tonight. If you're here for the very first time or watching online for the very first time, there is a link in the description to our program, or if you're sitting here on your chair, there should have been a program and a pen. Reach down, grab your program, grab your pen. If we're missing one, one of our volunteers, Ryan or Bella, will hustle over to you right away with your very own copy of tonight's outline. Here's how it works. There's some Bible verses on here. I'm going to give you a few things to think about this week, and you write down some of the fill-ins as we go through the message tonight. So make sure your pen works. You're going to do a little pen check or a doodle off to the side. This is your moment, and uh, make sure you got your outline and your pen, and you're ready to go. Well, here's the thing. If you are in eighth grade, we do love you. We're so excited that you have one last year in JHM. If you're here and you're in seventh grade, you are the core of our ministry, and we're thrilled to have you aboard. And if it's your first weekend here, and you were in fifth grade, and now you are in sixth grade, you're in middle school, that's such a great moment, welcome. Now, I know how it feels when you're in a place for the first time. You're like, I don't know. I, like, I feel like a little nervous or a little scared or whatever. And some of you have jumped right in. Some of you are kind of checking things out, and that is great and awesome. In fact, we have a welcome barbecue for all sixth grade families tonight. Right after the service, we're making burgers and hot dogs and all this. We're going to have fun right after the service meeting your families as well. But I thought to, to just make myself vulnerable to you tonight, I would show you a picture of what I looked like when I was in sixth grade. So if you're here in sixth grade, here's what I love. I'm here with my, uh, my brother and my younger sister, and look at that sweet piece of man candy right there. That is a good-looking sixth grader. I always look good in red. The only thing that I look better in than red is horizontal stripes. And so I brought a picture of me in horizontal stripes as well. Uh, Halloween, my sixth grade year. That's my older brother and younger sister when I was in sixth grade. How many of you are middle, my older brother and younger sister, I'm the middle kid. How many of you are middle kids? Like whatever grade, you're middle kids. I see those hands. God loves you the most. If you're middle kids, you're, you're set. God just loves you more. If you're a firstborn, you're fine. If you're a baby, you're spoiled. And if you're a middle kid, you're awesome, and I am too. You know it's true. Well, here's the deal. Uh, when I was in sixth grade, I got to go to youth group for the very first time. I had been in, like, our kids' ministry. Like many of you that maybe you've come here for a long time, you've been in Mariner's Kids, and now you get to move to the youth building, and there's, like, older kids here. Like, I saw an eighth grader serving at our last service, and he had a full-on mustache. 
He's in eighth grade, and he hasn't. There. In fact, I brought a picture of what he looks like. Here's one of our eighth graders with their mustache. That's the kind of people, like, middle school can be really intimidating. That's, okay, he's not. You're right. You're right. But I wanted to just welcome you with some simple things to write down to tell you what our junior high ministry, JHM, is all about. In fact, grab your pen, and on the, the top of your outline, it, I just want you to write junior high ministry. So that's what JHM stands for. So just write it across the very top of your program, junior high ministry. And if you're here for the first time or millionth time, especially if you're in sixth grade, I just want to say welcome. I want to give you a few things that JHM is because I'm super excited about the journey that has landed you here tonight. Um, I also got a, a, a meme for each one of these as well. So as you head into junior high, um, you might feel this way. Here's a simple meme about school. And I know you're on summer break, but this guy uh, doesn't do his homework. He doesn't study for tests, misses class all the times, but says that he's not passing because his teachers hate him. I don't know if you're good at school or if you're, good, or if you're scared about junior high. It's okay. You're going to do great let me tell you a little bit about what our junior high ministry is. Here it is. JHM, and write this down in your notes. JHM is your new home for the next three years. If you're in sixth grade and you're just joining us, and I realize some of you are a little older, so you got a little less time. But JHM is your home for sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. And one of the things I like about the idea of a new home, it's a place to belong. It's a place where you can find amazing connections and friendships, and you can grow in your relationship with God. JHM is your new home. And now let me tell you, when you move into a new home, some of you have already moved. I moved when I was in junior high, and that was a really tough thing because you got to get all new friends. You have a new neighborhood. You don't know the area. There's a few ways for you to move in quickly in JHM. And I want you to think about these ways. I put them in your notes. I'll put them on the screen too as well. First of all, just come to the weekend service. You're here or watching online right now. We do the same service five times every single weekend. And I'd love it if you'd say, I want to I get connected. And I want to go to service every single week. Maybe you can't come every week. Maybe you bounce between your parents' houses or whatever that might look like for you. You can watch online as well. 5.30 right now is a live service on YouTube. Just go to Mariner's JHM, and you can get all the details on our YouTube channel. You can watch and win and play and grow online as well. A great way to move in quickly is to come to service every single week. Um, there's also life groups. Life groups are an amazing chance to grow in your relationship with God and get new friends right away. So not only are there services and online services, but there's also great life groups where you can connect with each other and laugh and learn and grow. We'll put those details on the screen too, guys. That'd be great. And also, you've heard us talk about JHM Summer Camp. And now here's the deal. Don't, if you're like, I haven't heard about it until tonight, well, make sure you sign up right away because summer camp supercharges your JHM experience. You're going to make new friends really fast. You're going to get to know what JHM is all about. Amazing messages, awesome games. It is the most incredible week of the year. So when you see your parents tonight say, Mom, Dad, Grandma, Grandpa, whatever your story is, we got to sign up for camp. you got to go. It's going to be great. So JHM is your new home for the next three years. Second thing, write this one down in your notes as well. Next thing is JHM is a safe place to grow spiritually. So I, I chose those words kind of carefully because I know in a crowd this big, some of you have a, you, you're like, is, is this a safe place for me to, because I'm not a Christian. And I would say if you're here and you're not a Christian, I'm just glad you're coming to church. I'm glad you're hanging out. That's great. If you're here and you're like, I'm not sure about this whole Jesus thing, hey, this is a safe place for you. But our goal is that every single student, everyone who comes to JHM will grow in their faith, whether your faith is just starting out or whether you've come to know Jesus and been a part of a church for a long, long time. One of the ways that you can grow is to read God's Word. I was talking to a student today, and he's reading a, a, a book called The One Minute Bible. Now, I realize that, like, the one-minute Bible. Some of your parents would be like, really? One minute? Could we lower the bar anymore for our junior hires? But here's what I would say. One minute 
is actually a lot if we're comparing it to zero. And so I asked my buddy Tyler, he's in eighth grade. Tyler, come on up here on stage really quick, would you please? This is Tyler, he's in eighth grade. Let's just do a quick mustache check. Nice peach fuzz mustache coming in strong, proud of you. Um, Tyler is gonna read, this is, a, this is a, a book called The One Minute Bible. He's gonna read, in, in fact, I think we have a timer on the clock. He's gonna read The One Minute Bible in less than a minute, what, what day are you on in your devotional book? I'm on day 206. Day 206, and you put a little check mark at the top of the page when you read it, and you're going to read John chapter, what do we have there? John chapter 10, verses 1 through 10, in one minute. This is the kind of ways that you can grow spiritually. Timer on the clock. Here we go. Tyler, take it away. Truly, I tell you, I'm kidding. You got to pick up the pace a little bit. Truly, I tell you, anyone who doesn't enter the sheep pen by the gate but climbs in some other way is a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls, hi, uh, he calls his own by his name and leads them out. When he has brought all of his own outside, he goes ahead of them. <laughs> the sheep. You're doing great. 30 seconds. The sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will never follow a stranger. Instead, they will run away from him because they don't know the stranger's voice. Jesus gave them to, fi to figure of speech, but they do not understand what was telling them. Jesus said again, truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep didn't listen to them. Five seconds. I am the gay if you enter. <laughs> okay, time's up. We're going to let you finish. It's called the One Minute Bible. Maybe it's the One Minute and Ten Second Bible, but it doesn't quite sound as good. One, just finish it up for us, Tyler. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. I will th uh, a thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come so that they may have life and have it in abundance. Very good. Now, here's the thing. We're not reading for speed. We're reading to change our heart. All right, give it up for Tyler. Well done, dude. That was awesome. That's an example. Now, here's the best part. Tyler reads that little passage of scripture. It takes him a minute or so, and he learns about that as followers of Jesus, we should hear the shepherd's voice and not the voice of the thief or robber who's trying to steal our life and kill us, but to follow the voice and the leading of Jesus. Now, that's actually a really profound truth that could change your whole life, that could help you grow spiritually. And it only, it starts with about a minute a day. Now, what's cool is Tyler's in eighth grade. He's developing this habit of being in God's word. And it would be awesome if I had like a copy of that one minute Bible to give each one of you. I wish I could. In fact, we did. Everybody, right now, we're going to hand out a copy of the One Minute Bible. Take it right now, and if you think about it and you're like, I'm not going to do that, then just leave it on your seat. We'll give it to someone else who does. But if you're here and you're like, okay, I'll try. I'll jump in. This is like a $15 Bible that we're going to put in everybody's hands this weekend. You get one right now. It's yours. We want you to grow spiritually. And in fact, Every week in JHM, we're going to do a little one-minute check-in, and we're just going to feature or highlight one of the devotions in that during this week. And if you would say, I'm going to give it a shot. I want to learn to develop this habit. I want to grow spiritually. That is yours to keep. This weekend only, we're giving it to everyone who will make that commitment to grow. Here's what it says in the book of Colossians. This is an important verse. One of the, I think, one of the clearest teachings of Scripture. Here's what it says. We'll put it up on the screen. It says this, let your roots grow down into him. Let your life be built on Jesus. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth that you will taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. I'd like for you to grab your pen and I want you to underline the phrase, let your roots grow down into him. Like, I want you to have a firm foundation. 
And JHM is part of that, and you studying God's Word and developing that habit, that is part of your life being built. In fact, grab your pen and circle the word built on Him. Those are great reminders that our faith needs to be strong, and you can do a lot to strengthen your faith right here in your junior high years. Next filling in your notes, JHM is an opportunity to serve. Did you know right now there are literally dozens and through the course of this weekend, about a hundred students that are going to be serving, whether it's in Mariner's Kids or running the lights, camera, sound, even the live stream tonight is put on by students that are serving. The music that was led to us, someone's handing out t-shirts and free donuts, and right now there's someone starting the barbecues. Can you smell the hamburgers? I can. And there's someone out there helping serve, and JHM is a great place to use your talents, gifts, and abilities. Once COVID goes away, and I can't wait for that to happen, I'm excited to go on missions trips all over the world with you. I can't wait to serve our community and make a difference in outreach. JHM is a great place for you to grow. In fact, I put a, a note in your uh, the, a verse that you might know if you've been around church stuff for a while. It's in the book of Matthew, and it says, let your light shine. And it says the way that we let our lights shine is through service and good works and helping other people. And so JHM is a place for you to have opportunities to serve. And finally, the last fill in your notes is Jesus. Uh, JHM is all about Jesus and how he changes our lives. JHM is all about Jesus, the Savior of the world, and how he changes our lives. Jesus is why we're here. It's why we gather. We talk about him every week. We learn from his example so that we can live like him. We learn that he died on the cross for our sins, that he was buried, and the grave couldn't hold him, that he rose from the dead. The Bible says that Jesus is in a place preparing, er, in heaven preparing a place for us. Jesus is the one who will forgive our sins. He's the one who we follow. Now, I promised you some memes tonight, and so I brought my favorite Jesus meme with. This is a good one. This is about Jesus and uh, Noah's Ark. So here, we'll put that one up on the screen. Uh, I'm so sorry, T-Rex, the Ark is full. And that is how dinosaurs did not, that's how they went extinct. I'm kidding. That's not really how it happened. Some of you were like, I've been wondering. No, Jurassic World was Jesus didn't want him on the Ark. No, 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 no. It's just a joke. It's a joke. But you know what, isn't it? We, everything we do in junior high ministry points to Jesus Christ. He's our Savior. In fact, I'll say this. I, I'm not in sixth grade anymore. In fact, I'm 46 years old. I know. Some of you are like, we need to pray for Josh right now because he is super old. Thank you for your prayers. But here's what I want you to know. Here's what I want you to know. I've given my whole life to help junior hires and high school students know about Jesus because Jesus has changed my life. And when you come to our junior high ministry on the weekend, when you sign up for a life group, when you go to camp, every single time, I'm going to tell you about Jesus because I want him to change your heart and your life as well. At some point today, Maybe after the parent barbecue or you're driving home or you're swinging by uh, maybe a drive through at some point your mom or your dad or your grandpa or your guardian, whatever, someone is going to say these words to you. What did you learn in JHM tonight? And I would like to give you the answer. JHM is all about Jesus. And so when you come here every single time, we're going to talk about Jesus and how he saved us and loved us and how he wants us to live. And I hope that you'll commit to coming and joining us in that journey for the next one, two, or three years ahead. Welcome to JHM. Sixth graders, so glad that you're here. Seventh, eighth graders, you're the best. Let me pray for us. And then we've got some fun giveaways and then if you're in sixth grade and your parents are here, we're going to hang out in a little barbecue as well. Let me pray for us, okay? God, thank you for every teenager, every student that is here, every young man, young woman. Just ask that you would bless them. God, thank you so much. It is ex so exciting to have our new sixth graders in for the very first time. A packed house tonight. So fun. 
And God, I just ask that we would serve you and love you and that we would be committed to growing in our faith with you as well. That's why we gather together every week. And I'm so excited for the journey ahead. Just ask that you bless each one of the families represented together tonight and how exciting it is to be on this journey with you, Jesus. We love you. We ask all these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Can we give it up for Josh? Can we give it up for Josh? Yeah, come on. All what? right. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Your junior high pastor, Josh Griffin. Woo! Yeah. Yeah? More? Okay. Beautiful. Well, we got games. We, we got games. Jesus. And we got prizes. prizes. So I think we had a couple of winners. Who is the winner of our head, shoulders, knees, and cup? I don't know because I didn't remember who the winner was. It, was it you? you in the hoodie. It was you. Come on Love up, it. Friend. Come on up. And Evie, you were the winner of our, our what is it? Game. Who is it? But, but we don't just have two winners. Oh, no, we don't. When you checked in, you got a name tag, and you might have put it on your chest. You might have put it on your leg. You might have put it on your head. You might have ripped it up. But guess what? When you checked in, you entered yourself into a raffle. We're going to put those names on the screen. They're going to spin, and we're going to pick somebody else to spin the Wheel of Destiny. Beautiful. So when you guys see your name on the screen, give us a sound. You're excited. Here we go. When you see your name, like, yes, yeah, you're Be excited. Like, hey, there I am. Here we go. Hey, there I am. All right, ladies, count it down. Three, two, one, stop. Alexandra, where are you? Oh, yeah, she's sitting in the front row. We only we only pick people from the front row secretly. you're going to go home with something, too. And we got one more prize. We have three people in person, but we didn't forget about you online. So we're going to spin our online viewer names. Let's see them on the screen. There they are. I see Al. I see Lindsay. Three, two, one. Ernest E. Ernest. Ernest E, you are our online winner. You are going home with a gift card of your gift choice. Card. Put it in the chat. We'll send it to you. All right, All right. ladies. All right, well, let's see who we have. All right, what is Who wants name? to go first? Alex, Alex congratulations. You're going to go first. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to stand over here, and you're going to go, not right now, but you're going to go like. <laughs> you're going to give us a nice virtual spin. spin. Okay, you ready? Here we go. All right, three, two, two one. one, spin. There we Woo! go. All right. All right. And Alexandra, that was a great spin. you are going home with Ooh, a little art, art pencil pencils. set. 50 wow. assorted high quality artist grade pencils. You did it, you won. Thanks yeah, there you go. Oh, you're good, you can sit down. Go start Beautiful. drawing. All right. All right, what is your name, my friend? Natalie, all right, let's face the crowd so right, you can Natalie. see your beautiful spin. All right, you're going to give us a spin big it. spin. Here you go. Ready? Three, two, one. Spin. There we go. Double. Oh, you can oh, do much better than that. You can, you can do. A big spin. Here we go. Three, two, one. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. She did it. She all was right. confident. All right. It's slowing down. Survey it's says. Down. And Natalie, you are going home. Well, oh, no. Keep oh. going. Keep going. Oh, okay, I'm so sorry, wait, Natalie. Okay. It's her. I think she should go home with a gift card. You're going but home I with a gift she's card. pretty great. Natalie, you're we like a winner. You. Congratulations. Thanks we for break playing. the rules. We and break Evie, the rules oh, here. I'm sorry. I'm okay, sorry. Friend? You okay? Beautiful. All right, Evie, step up, up to the plate and give us a big spin. Go! All right, there we go. Great spin. Here we go. Evie, right, what are you going to win? You are going home with... A ten dollar gift card as well. There you go. Ten dollars to steak and shake. Don't spend Good it all job. at one time. Be careful of the steps on your way down. Uh, Ryan, that was so fun. Guys, we had a ton of fun. We played some games. We got a great message, and we gave out some prizes. We're so happy that you're here, especially so our sixth great. graders. We're so happy that you guys are here Woo! at JHM. We hope you continue to come. So all year fun. long if invite your friends if you're in sixth grade we have a family barbecue that is just out there in that I area let's keep the lights it. on really quick um but guys we love you so much thanks for coming and we will see, see you, you in seven. seven have a great night everybody Bye, pal. take forget. care of your trash you got donuts you got shirts grab a snack a grab a t-shirt so fun thanks for coming if you want to shoot the arrow come up on stage if you did not get a time to shoot the impossible shot.